Hello, my name is Chuck Phelan. I'm the Ward, I'm currently the Ward 5 City Councilor. I am seeking a second term and to get reelected on November 2nd to become the, the Quincy, the Ward 5 City Councilor. I am a lifelong Quincy resident. I reside at 298 Fennel Street with my wife, Michelle Lydon. I have two adult children, Roberta Black and Charles Phelan, who, who all, also all live in Quincy. I, I have, I'm a third generation grown, that has grown up here in Quincy, and I have a great love and respect for the city of Quincy. Um, as the ward council, one of the most important things I think I need to do is to be available and accessible. And through those, one of the things I, in my first year in office, I wasn't in less than three months when a great pandemic hit, which affected everyone, not just here in the Quincy, Massachusetts, in the United States, but the whole world. And at that time, great challenges came up on how to keep people informed and let them know what is going on in the neighborhood. One of the things we did was we began doing Zoom meetings on local, uh, uh, with, with, with neighborhoods. Sometimes when things came up before the zoning and the planning board and the conservation commission, we actually did meetings right on site. So we were outdoors where we spread people apart and made sure people with so social distancing, but still keeping them informed on the issues that go on in the ward. And it's one of the most important things as a ward councilor. A lot of what we do are not things maybe the city council can even vote on. A lot of them deal with planning, zoning boards, conservation commission. And in the two years that I've been with the city, one of the things I have tried to do is make sure the residents are informed of what's going on in their neighborhood, that they have a chance to go to the public hearing and speak what they need to on these issues. A lot of them have to do with development, and some of the issues are uh, rather big developments that I've been involved with that we've had to sit there and, uh, and try to scale back or work with the neighborhood to see what works with the neighborhood. One area I never compromise on is when it comes to residence A and single family, single family homes. We are fortunate in Quincy to have a great number of single family homes all throughout the city and some great neighborhoods. In Ward 5, several of those great city neighborhoods reside. So in that time, I've worked to get legislation. One of the things I found when I was campaigning the last time was several houses were being taken over and used for other uses than a, than a single family home. They were being used for rooming houses, for Airbnbs, various different things. And at that time, I brought in an ordinance on short-term short -term rentals to see, to, to help to protect the neighborhoods around Quincy. This is one, of, one thing I made a promise on when I first ran and is something that I feel very strong is to maintain the quality of our neighborhoods here in the city. One of the other issues that became big would happen the very first day when I was sworn into office. I went down to a meeting at the old Beachcomber site. At that site, it was slated for a large development. At that time, anything built on a very environmentally sensitive piece of land would have led to extreme flooding in the area, would have been detrimental to the environment along Wollaston Beach. And was not what we wanted for the area. We have a great resource in Wollaston Beach, so I work with the mayor's office, city councilors, the community preservation committee, and we were able to come up with money to purchase the land. And recently at a neighborhood meeting, we revealed plans that we are gonna be taking that piece of land and we are gonna be turning it into a, uh, to a passive park. So we're gonna add a great little resource to the, to the city of Quincy, right along Wollaston Beach. We'll have a passive park with a trail, with uh, some information on the historical significance with the, with the beach coma. Also, one of the things I've tried to do as, as the ward councilor is be in touch with people and let them know what's going on. So on several votes, on several things I've made, I've had several mailings that I've sent out over the years and we'll continue to meet with people even while we're still going through this pandemic. Uh, it might be Zoom meetings, it might be meetings at the site, and we'll continue to do those to keep the residents of Ward 5 invo involved. And wrapping up here, I'd like to, first of all, ask everyone for their vote on November 2nd. Uh, it has been an honor and a privilege over the last two years to serve as your ward councilor, and I am requesting your vote on November 2nd so I can continue to do that. In wrapping up, I'd also like to thank Quincy, Quincy Access Cable for putting this forum on. And for all the residents of Quincy who have gotten in touch with me, have 
made me a better informed and a better counselor. So I thank you all, and I ask for your vote on November 2nd. Thank you.